All right, so welcome back again. So in this particular session of the course, we'll be trying to see how to do some simple memory profiling of our Streamlit app, right? So let's see how to work with it. So memory profiling is a way in which you are trying to check for how much a code, right, or a portion of your code is using in your RAM or in your memory, right, on your system. So there's also time profiling in which you are trying to check for the execution time of a particular part of your code. So there are several tools we can use. You can use the standard, uh, Part of the standard library C profile, and you also use memory profiler, which is specifically for memory. We also have scaling, which is a combination of memory and then line. We also have line profiler that allows you to be able to profile the execution time of your particular code. So let's see how to work with it. So we're using this particular profiler, which is going to be memory profiler to help us do the same thing. So in case you don't have it, you can just install it on the system with with pip install memory profiler right on your system. First. Now let's go back and then check it out. So this was the app that we were running initially with Streamlit that we, we were working on. You want to be able to profile this particular code, right? So let's see if I go with three, you can see it's very it's huge with a lot of things. Now in case I want to profile this entire stuff to see how much memory it's using, I'm just going to open a particular file, which is the main file. I'm going to open the main folder. It's taking some time for it to open. You see it, right? And I'll just click on this one. Yeah, so I'm just going to go to the main app itself, which is the app.py file, right? And inside this particular place, I'll just I'm just going to import what I need. So I'll just come down here, or I can just import it from here. So let's go to this memory mem package, right? Go it from memory profiler import profile. So this profile is a the creator function that we'll be using to help profile the entire code. So I'll copy this one. Right, that is the main stuff. Then I'll go back to all the functions that I have, right? So I'll put the entire stuff on my main function here, right? To profile it. So add profile. That is all. It's a decorator. So that is all that you need, right? Perfect. So that is all. Then the function. So this add profile that I'm putting just on top of this code is going to profile the entire code for us, right? The entire stuff. Then because we are running it as main here. So let's see how to profile the entire stuff. So I'll just go back again to my terminal, which is where the look it is. And to run it, just go with Python dash three, right? Dash M, dash M is I pick the model called memory profiler and then the name of the app. So we are using app.py, the streamlit app. So this is going to run the app. That's going to uh, profile the entire code, right? It's going to be very huge because there are a lot of things there. There are a lot of codes about one uh, thousand one hundred and ninety-three lines of code on the main file. It's going to take some time for it to profile. That's why it's taking some time. So there's a whole tutorial I did earlier on on the basic of it, but it is just trying to apply the same concept on a Streamlit app. Okay, so that's finished. As you can see, the, my whole screen is full, right? The entire stuff is full because it's profiling the entire stuff, and this is the memory profile, right? So that's run, run it with a Brother, right it's executing the entire code and you can see the first line so this is the memory usage for the every part of the code this is the increment and this is it so at the beginning of this memory profile this is how much it's used right because it's a very huge function and you can see each and every of the line of the code this is how much it's using right this is the one it used at this particular choice the different choices and these are the ones it's used for the other different aspects of the code very simple right and as you go down, you can see that it's taking, it's going to show you all the different ways. But in case you want to see it in a plot form, you can just go back again, click up this one, and then just see it in a plot form. Right? This is important, but this is something nice. So the memory usage is how much memory is using for every line of code. These are, these are the lines of code 50. If I go back and I check it out, this is line 50 here, as you can see. Line 50, right? Very simple. So this is the line of code. That is being shown here the line of code 50 the this one is the menu the menu is on 54 so it's showing the line of code here and the memory usage is the amount of memory that particular line of code is using right then the increment is the difference between the previous one this one and this one so this minus this is going to give us this that's the difference so the increment for this minus this is going to give us this very simple now let's plot the entire stuff so to plot it you can just go back again so scroll down here I'm going to plot the entire stuff. So to plot it, just go with M 
prof right and i just go to run now passing the app dot pi so this is going to execute and run the memory profile on that particular file it's taking some time for it to run then after that we can just it's going to create a dat file which is going to be a dat file so as you can see there is no dat file here but by the time it's finished it's created this particular dat file yeah right and then after that we can generate a sync simple plot on how much memory every part of the code is using over time so let's finish if i check it back so we have our dat file created now in case i want to plot it i just go with mprof right then i just go with my plot if i go with dot plot i can just plot it straight away let's plot it without the flame then it's going to generate a single simple plot using a particular data that file of the memory that every part of the code is using voila so you can see how it is so at the beginning so at this particular point then it went up then went up then like this right very very cool so that is a simple way you can actually plot the entire memory usage of the app right as it went up like now begin to go up very simple so let me save this one you can save it here then let's go to let's say st mem stimulate memory profile right and i'll save it right so let's save it on my pictures save right so that's how to save it on your system very good you can also do a flame chart by going with that that flame sometimes it may be the same sometimes it may change a little right that's another way you can also work on a flame so it's going to be a, a simple flame plot of the entire memory usage of the app so it's almost the same right same thing without some some other some of the lines very simple so that is how to profile your streamlit app using mem profiler so there are lots of things you can do but that is just the overview so thank you for watching and see you in the next session stay blessed bye so to recap the basic idea is that you just go back to this option to the code itself right and just put in the add profile which is coming from this particular function here right very simple that is all that you need to do right? and then you just run it straight away so thank you